Hey everybody, it's Kristen J Live. Oh, I miss you guys so much. I miss running my mouth and just talking about all different kinds of things. So I'm not gonna stay here long. I just wanted to touch base with you because I haven't been in touch with you guys for so long. I know, right? Miss the Alchemist Lounge, Miss Brooklyn, the food is so good. But speaking of Brooklyn, I'm going to be there tomorrow night and I want you guys to join me. It's like Valentine's Day weekend, right? Okay, and um, tomorrow, let's see, tomorrow, Saturday, February 12th, excuse me, Love Jones Live Part 3, Volume 3, Poets and Painters Edition, okay? This is Saturday, tomorrow, February 12th, 7 to 10. It's going to be at Frank's Lounge in Brooklyn, 660 Fulton Street, BK. Did you guys know that Absolute has a Brooklyn a vodka of Brooklyn vodka. I've got to try that out. Okay, so anyway, back to Love Jones Live. It's going to be Kristen J. Live at Love Jones Live. Again, this is tomorrow. Listen to this poetry, uh, live band, vocalist, painter, and uh, to accompany the poets. Uh, $100 Love Jones Erotic Poetry Slam. Oh, I don't think I knew that. I got some erotic poetry ready for you. What? Yes, I do. Okay, but that, enough about that. Um, food specials, and this is all given by uh, Kevin Elements Livingston. Yes, he is a poet, and he's going to be there, and he, and it, ugh, there's so much. I'm so excited about this, and I've only got a limited amount of time because I'm not going to talk to you guys forever, but he uh has Ra Digga hosting how about that yes the legendary Ra Digga she's gonna be there so that's gonna be so hot and I'm gonna be there talking to everybody they've got music by DJ Scratator did I say that right I hope so but it's gonna be hot um he's produced music for Busta and Fabulous and a bunch of wonderful people it's gonna be so nice and they have other special invited guests doors open at 6 30 show time is at 7 30 sharp it's 12 dollars before eight o'clock 15 dollars after eight o'clock it's in brooklyn bk everybody loves brooklyn now and then after that okay that's saturday saturday is good it's friday right now but saturday that's set and then sunday i think i'm going to check out the movie muslim yeah, i'm going to wait until sunday um now this is opening weekend for muslim this is newark's own samad davis yeah it's his film and it's got like danny glover nia long evan ross you know diana miss diana ross the boss's son i know he probably doesn't want to be under her shadow at this point but she's a legend so run with it and um, let me see, what else did I want to talk to you guys about? I don't know, there's so many wonderful things going on and I just got to get it all in here. So make sure you join me for that tomorrow. Come out to Brooklyn. And what are some of the things that are going on? There's so many wonderful things that are happening. I was all chatty and ready to just go off. And now that I've got you here, well, it's Valentine's Day um, weekend. Valentine's Day weekend coming up, right? Do you guys have a date? I don't have a date. I don't have a date, so I'm hoping I can find a little something. Okay, not love tomorrow night, but maybe just like. That would be nice, right? Yeah, you are looking at it. She's got to have the poster. Yeah, there it is. She's got to have it posted behind me. Oh, this is Kristen J. Live. Amikasa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are in my boudoir. Shh. Yeah, sometimes she's got to have it, but can I just tell you that I did meet somebody? <laughs> I know. Pause for like, ugh. I met somebody. Oh, fine. Big boom. I was like, what? A steak daddy. I want to know you guys deal breakers. You ever meet somebody and everything is just wonderful and then there's that one little thing that you're just like, I don't want to say what it is. I'm not going to say what it is. This guy's tall, fine, voice on the phone was oh, insanely delicious. But and then I heard that one thing and it was just like, deal breaker. You ever have that? I don't know. It could be anything. I mean, I, I would like to know what some of your deal breakers are. You know, like, I don't know, maybe you meet a guy and you're talking to him and you find out he's homeless. That's not it, but I'm just giving an example, you know, or you start to notice that maybe um, one eye is just not moving at all. Just little things like that. I don't know. So, yeah, I still get him, but I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer to a good one, but yeah, he gave me a deal breaker. But um, who do you guys have checking for you for a Valentine's Day coming up? You guys got, see, I got my red on for it. Woo! Um, do you guys have something hot going on, you know, this weekend? Some specialty love? And you know what? For all you guys out there that are just like, oh, it's commercial holiday. Mm -mm, stop it. Acknowledge it and show the ones you care about. And it doesn't have to be, you know, you know, your lover. It could be just the ones you love. Mom, dad, kids. I hope my son got me something. He's a little trifling in that department. I try to give him plenty of notice like a year in advance. Like, hey, you know, like last year, hey, Valentine's Day is going to be up again same same time next year. Be on it, okay? Yeah, he, what did my son, 
he got me something special small and cute we usually do something small and cute so you know but I definitely want him to acknowledge it and any of you guys out there that start yeah usually the guys are like oh I'm not really into all that you know and spending money you don't have to spend money you really really don't you can just you know just get something nice and just you know make it special be creative you know I would love to hear what you guys are gonna do that I would love to be a part of that. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know what? And I was thinking about music as I was driving in my hoopty today. Yes, hoopty. Okay. So I heard some good songs on the radio and I was thinking about oh, some of my favorite songs. Okay, you ready? I have my top five favorite songs. Just my favorite songs. Just mine. Okay, I'm just going to share them with you. Okay. Number five is Change the World by Eric Clapton. It's just such a mellow, sweet, wonderful, mellow, easygoing song. You know, change the world. If I could change the world. Okay, I'm not a singer, but I love that song. And then let's see. I, this is a tough one because this is, this is like my favorite song of life. Stevie Wonder's As. That man is a poetic genius. He is a lyrical genius. And As, As Around the Sun, The Earth Knows She's Revolving. It doesn't get better than that. So add, and it's about, the song is about three days long. So I, I just love it. But okay, then there's Crazy For You by Prince. Hey, little Prince. Hey, little Prince, don't we love pocket-sized Prince? Put him in your bag and take him out whenever you need a little special feeling good. Yeah, Prince, he's got some hot cuts. He's been, you know, doing songs forever. But Crazy For You was from his first album, Prince. I believe it was entitled Prince. But okay, so then let's see. Uh, another song that I like because I really there are a few songs that when they when they get real slow and sexy like I don't have a whole lot of those but and like never too much by Luther that's not a slow like oh that's just a happy I've, I've been love with you song I love that song never too much I love that song and my number one this is it though this is not a slow song, but I love it because I love what they're talking about. I love what they're saying. They'll never be by Switch. Oh, I got to tell you, if I hear that, if the right one says the right thing to me from that, any, any line from that song, that song says, please come over here and let me whisper something in your ear. What? He says, I'll say something to you that you've always wanted to hear. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. What else you got, Big Papa? And then he goes on to say, and this is Switch, you know, this is the uh, elders of the DeBarge family, you know, so this is where uh, Mr. L making his comeback, got it. This is the line, so real, <laughs> so real, I know you won't regret it, so good, <laughs> I know you won't, forget it really it's like that it's like that I love it that's my favorite song of all times my favorite love song and of course there's so many other songs that are absolutely fabulous but I would love to hear some of your things I would love to hear a couple of things from you guys I would love to hear your deal breakers you know when you meet that one person and you know like they're missing a limb or um, they're smiling at you and then you find out they're mildly retarded yeah I'm sorry I'm a bum magnet I would love to hear what you guys are doing for Valentine's Day this is Valentine weekend so do you guys have plans for this weekend because I know of two wonderful things that are happening uh, love Jones live volume 3 poets and painters edition at Frank's lounge this Saturday coming up that's tomorrow and then on Sunday well it's not not just Sunday it's all weekend so my Davis is Muslim m-o-o-z-l-u-m you can look that up on Facebook you can google that it's a good movie it's gonna be really good and um so that's this weekend I don't have anything planned for tonight mm-mm mm-mm and there is one that I really would like to hear from chump sucker where are you what are you doing how come you haven't called me with arrangements okay all right I'll get over that but anyway um yeah and deal breakers did I yeah I did mention the deal breakers what you doing this weekend and your favorite love songs everybody i just wanted to talk to you i just wanted to catch up with you and say what's up you guys are my favorite it's kristen j live amikasa that's right because she's